Well, coming up tonight at 10 on NTV, we've got the NTV 10pm evening news. But now we go to our brand new mystery drama, The Killer Who Got Away. Network Radio sponsors late night drama on NTV. Why you don't go ahead with this deal, I mean... With this deal, I mean, think about it. All I've got to do is draw the tattoos on scrap bits of paper. You can see what you think, and then you can go ahead and, uh, you know, you can go ahead and decide whether you want to actually go ahead with this, you know, whether you want to actually put them on to people's bodies. I've been drawing for a lot of years, and I think it could have a good effect on your tattoo shop. So, all I'm asking is, what do you say? Like... I think this could be good. All I'm saying is I'll have a think about it. I don't know if it's something that I want to do, but, you know, because I've got some good designs already myself, so we'll just have to see, won't we? Oh, you've got a customer. What? Corey, son? What? Dad? Is that you? Yeah, that's me. Oh, my God, son! What? How? How I'm, you been? I've been fine. I'm just mad at you. That's all. Look, I d I don't know what happened. When Mum died, things just got on top of me. I should never have left you like that. Well, I'm big enough now to know that you were a coward, and. Well, I did like you in the first place, but now you've left me, I think you deserve dick. I am a coward. I'll admit that, son. I had the one good thing that we had, and I, and I crushed it into little pieces. Look, I'm sorry, son. If there's any way that I can fix this. Look, I didn't even know you were living here. I, I, I literally, I came for biz, business stuff. I work for tattoo people. Do you know? Yeah, so I draw designs for people. And, you know, for people who work in tattoo shops. Isn't that right? Yeah, I've seen a good few tattoos of him, but, you know. You should get one done on your right arm, Corey. Oh, I've had one done on all my arms. I've even got one at the back. Since when did you start getting tattoos, son? Don't talk to me like that, you filthy animal. Look, I'm sorry for what happened, okay? Please. Oh, sorry, it's not, please, sorry it's not good enough. Can we not just go outside and talk this through? If you want to do that, then yeah. Yeah, look, I'm sorry for the convenience. It's no bother. Look, listen, look, son. Look, when your mum died, I was all over the place. I didn't know what to think. I didn't know how I was going to cope on my own. I, I felt lost. I was scared. I, I didn't know what to do. And I just, one day, I just ran. I ran, I ran, I ran. Before I knew it, I'd run too far. And well, I just... you left me when Mum died, and I was only 11 years old, and I had nowhere to go. I'm sorry. I, I should never have done that. I, I just left you in that flat. I just... Things got too much. You, 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 you were screaming because I wouldn't put batteries in your remote control car and... I just ran. If there's any way we can fix this. Look at me now, stood here, talking to a geezer like you while smoking away. Look what you've done to me. Hopefully I die soon and be six foot under like mum. What? You, you don't mean that. You Come on, you, you must have a good life ahead of you. A job, even. A job? You Come on, say. you must have a the job. Person, 
the person who left me and had nowhere, no like transport to get a school or anything. So you know what I did? Just stayed at home and wishing you came home, but you never. Son, I, I should never have left you like that. But it was hard for me as well, you know. I've blown it all, haven't I? Yes, you have. <sighs> well, I can't fix the past. Well, well since what? we've had a talk, I'm gonna forgive you, okay? Forgive me? Yes. I don't deserve forgiveness. Yeah, you do. You just made a stupid mistake when Mum left. Look, I promise to you, I promise to you, Corey's son, in my heart, I hope and cross it and, 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 and kick that, that I will never, I swear, that I will never let you down again. Okay. Are we back united? Yes, we are. Do you want <sighs> on the top? Yeah, I've got my own car. You drive. I'll follow. Okay, okay. His car slow. Yeah. He'll catch up soon. I'm kinda new round here, but I'm guessing it's this pub I saw on the way into the tattoo shop. Is this the place? Yes, it is. Follow me. Oh, hiya, love. Hiya. Now all do all. So what you what you having in? For me, I've got um. Well, what you drinking? I mean. Well, I'm glad I've brought you here, because I've got something to show you. What's that? Are you ready? Something yeah. Something I've wanted to do a long while before when I wanted to meet you. What's that? <gasps> no, son, please, please. No, 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 put, put the gun down. Please, look, listen, son, you, son, we can sort this out. Come on, son, please, please. Look, look, I, I know I've been a bad dad, but y y y you don't need to get the gun out, okay? Please. Please. Do this now. There, it's gone. Swear. Swear down. Oh, you'll never leave me again. I swear. Right. Only thing is... I can't promise that I won't do anything stupid myself. But put your hands up. Put, put the gun down, put the gun down. Everyone scram! You see, since your mum died, the real reason why I run away is because of this woman behind the bar. Yeah, you know this woman here. I did a... I owed her some money. And she took things way too far. The real reason why I'm here, son, 
is to get my pay back. I'm no real tattoo person. I just came to get closer to her. To get the truth. To get what I wanted. And now I'm going to succeed in doing so. You shoot her, I shoot you. I suggest you put the gun down, son. What did you just say? Should I pull this trigger? Do you want to know some home truths? Go on then. I never wanted a son. Really? Yeah. I never wanted a daughter. As a matter of fact, I never even wanted a kid. And do you know why well, I never wanted a kid? Because I knew that, that gutless bitch of your mother would have to give birth to her. Do you know why I was with her? For the money. Exactly. She had 25k in the bank. And me, I was having an affair with this woman at the time. We were going to get the money. We were going to run off. But then the silly cow fell pregnant with you. Well, you know what? Screw you. I don't want you in my life. Hello there. See this familiar face? You might know me as Noreen from the Park Drive drama series. I'm back with some interesting news from myself and the NTV. I'm back with something gonna... Well, I'm gonna be here bringing something new to you guys. Now, before you guys wonder, does that mean that my Park Drive days are over and I'm moving on to something else? 100% not. I'm still a great part of part drive and, well, I see it as a, as a yearly contract, so I never see further than the year in part drive, but it doesn't mean that I'm deciding to leave part drive no way, Jose. Actually, this is kind of primarily teamed up with the creators of part drive. We're bringing you a little something extra. And you're just going to have to make sure that you stay tuned for some trailers, for some updates about when this new thing comes. Because I think it's going to be good. I'm going to be about with some amazing people to work with, just like I am in Park Drive. It's going to be filmed and edited by the same people what film and edit Park Drive, so you've got no issue there. <laughs> and, well... I don't really know what else I can say without giving it away, but I'm inside the SPSC arena. It's where everything's kind of coming together, but I can see it, but you can't. So don't you go looking, because if you go looking, that, that, that'll be it. I won't do this. You guys have got to wait and see. Now, some of you guys might know hints and previews about this, but please don't spoil it for them what don't know. Just behave. Come on, it's all good. It's all friendly. See you soon. <laughs> what did I do that for? <laughs> Who's my own dad? <laughs> Oh, what a stupid, stupid mistake that was. <laughs> I wish he was still here, even though I hated him. Now I want to kill myself and kill my dad. But I want to be with mum as well. I have no family whatsoever to keep my, an eye on me. I've only got my friends that would depend on me. Oh, what a stupid, stupid kid. Are you, 
I used to look for driving me to that airport tomorrow. Yeah, of course, mate. Why not? Good. Look, what did you need to stash that gun for anyway? Some business that I need to take off, but you don't need to know. I mean, what are you even doing with a gun? Uh, I can't tell you, mate. I'm sorry. I guess some things are better off kept to secret. Let's go, yeah? Aye. Look, are you sure you're going to be alright getting out of here tomorrow? I'll be fine, I promise. Where are you going to go? I'll probably just go to a hotel or something, just... Just get my head around some things and then come back. Work out what you're going to do from there. Yeah. Right. Sound. Well, listen, look, it's been nice having you around. Alright. You, you've been a good mate, and I don't know what I'd do without you. Uh huh. You know, you've always been there for me. The so least I can do is drive you to the airport and be there for you. Well, we're here. Thanks, bro. I'll see you in the morning, yeah? Morning. You all set for the airport, then? I could have. Like I say, you'll be missed. Same goes for you, bro. I'm gonna miss the lot of you. But you know, you've still got my phone number if ever you need anything. Yeah. Never know. I might come back after a couple of months and then... To be honest, I hope you do. I'm just hoping they don't find me. Who? Well, you know, people. Please! Mm -hmm. Look, they're not gonna wear anything from me. I don't even know what you did, so. As far as I'm aware, if they come asking, you went on holiday. But I didn't drive you to the airport. Well, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you a little hint of what I've done. Okay, but don't take it too seriously. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Just if the police find out, just you know. What start case. then? I've killed my father. You what? I killed my father. I thought you hadn't seen him for years. Well, as you say that, I met him in the tattoo shop when I went to get my tattoo done before, before a couple of days, and I seen him. And Holy sugar! We gotta get you out of here. in the airport. All right, matey. Let's do this. I'm truly, I'm truly gonna miss you. Look, but I'm truly gonna miss you as well. Just make sure you get your suitcase out the boot. Yeah, and I hope you stay safe as well. Don't do stupid mistakes like me. Me, I always stay safe. Just make sure you text me when your plane lands. I will do.
Seen a bit, bro. Right, I guess this is it. I guess so. Look after yourself. You too, bro. Now go on, or you'll miss that plane. Will do. One friend I had left. Network Radio sponsors late night drama on NTV.